Hi there Virgo, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 24th of August. I do hope that your physical vitality has been revived on the back of the Sun's arrival in your sign. Of course, you recently had Jupiter arriving in Virgo too, and the two combine in a conjunction all through this week. This can give you an, a massive boost of enthusiasm for life. And if you have been planning things quietly in the background and wanting to make some key changes in terms of your goals or directions in life, you can now get a much firmer grip on your life direction. The Sun's combination with Jupiter in your sign only happens once every 12 years. Jupiter is the planet of fortune. It's also the planet of expansion. It's very much about the big picture, whereas your sign is very much about the details and about precision. So Jupiter is actually in detriment in Virgo, so it is important that you stay very much attuned to all the finer issues in your situation. Just having a big picture that you want to go for, but not having the plan, will perhaps not work out as well as you would like. And there's still a lot of activity in the back end of your horoscope. This is because Venus is combining with Uranus in the first two days of this week. This can still see you feeling quite sentimental about someone from your past. Later in the week, Venus is going to be combining with Mars and your energies around a past relationship can be heightened. It is possible that you will get in contact with someone that you used to be involved with. On the other hand, rather than actually reaching out to an old flame, you may just realise that there's still a, an emotional sediment that you need to sift through to really get down to the bottom of how you feel and let go of any residual grief that may still be there. In the worst case, it is possible that you've gone through a more recent separation. And this energy that's going on this week can see you with one foot very much in the future, but one still having to clear up these other outstanding matters. With the move of Mercury, your ruler, on Friday into Libra, you can actually, however, start to think more about practical issues around finances. But there is a full moon, which occurs in your opposite sign on Saturday, and it's saying to you that however much you do try to set a new course to give yourself some kind of dynamic new uh, launch pad for how you want to go forwards, there could be someone who's going to give you a very muted or even evasive kind of response. So don't depend too much on other people's feedback and support. I still think that you're in a part of the year when you need to depend most on your own inner resources. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.